Developing now, the ACLU is warning Wimberley ISD to back off parents of LGBTQ students who are wearing shirts with an altered logo of Wimberley High School. We exclusively obtained the ACLU's letter addressed to the district warning against further legal action. We first brought you this story in September when the superintendent sent a letter saying the district does not approve the use of the logo, even though the logo is being used by businesses around town. CBS Austin's Christian Flores has more on what this could all mean for the district. I don't understand why they just don't let it go. After months of back and forth, lawyers are now involved in the battle between Wimberley ISD and parents over this altered Wimberley High School logo on shirts for a gay pride march last September. CBS Austin exclusively obtained this letter from the ACLU to Superintendent Dwayne York. While the school district does have a legal right to protect its intellectual property, that does not usurp the First Amendment. It seems like he's making these decisions on their, his own because they're not very well thought out and they go against the freedoms that you and I enjoy in this great country of ours. Brian Burke is the father of an LGBTQ student and he says he hopes this letter sends a message. This is in response to a letter York sent to parents in December informing them they now have the copyright to the logo and they have until January 6th today to take down the pride logo on social media and print or they will get a cease and desist from the district's lawyer. No, I'm not taking it down. No way. The ACLU tells Wimberley ISD they are violating the First Amendment rights of parents by suppressing their speech through legal threats. Something called the fair use doctrine allows people to use copyrighted material to make political statements. You bring those thoughts into our school district and you you demonize the gay community and you vilify and you marginalize that is not going to roll in the Wimberley Independent School District. It's wrong. We reached out to the district to see how much they paid for the copyright and lawyer's fees in all matters surrounding the Pride logo. A spokesperson says they are working on getting that information. We checked U.S. copyright records, and Lake Travis ISD is the only other district in the viewing area with a copyright. Every parent and student in the district received a letter from York stating the district does not approve altered forms of the logo. Around town, a car wash uses the logo, as does a hardware store for shirts they sell, but both say they have permission from the district and that they did not alter the logo. Burke says he'll wait and see if the district follows through with their legal threats. It's becoming bigger than it needs to be. It is 2020. My vision is clear, but the school district is blind. In Wimberley, Christian Flores, CBS Austin News.